Hello guys, welcome back to Special Creations by Nelly. Let me show you how to make this cute poppy birthday party decorations. It's on our super cute and let's not forget to subscribe and let's get started. So the first thing I did was grab um foam board and put them together. So I'm going to line them up all together just like that. And I'm going to use six of these foam board. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and grab my tape and I'm just going to go ahead and put them together and attach them together just like that. Make sure to strain them out very good and then you put the tape. So then just go ahead around it and tape all everything. Once you're done, go ahead and take a 60 inch round table clock and you're going to put it on top and you're going to go ahead and trace it all the way around. Grab your knife and start cutting them out. Then once you're done, go ahead and grab another foam board and measure to four inches and then just go ahead and make a straight line all the way down until you're done tracing the whole foam board so you're going to take another piece and just trace it down like that then um go ahead and grab your knife and just cut each piece out then take your knife and just, just cut it in between just a little bit not all the way down and you're going to continue doing the whole thing so it can be bendable like that to attach it to your foam board then go ahead and use some glue and attach your circle so it can stay in place and then go ahead and continue um, with the four inches foam board that you just cut out and attach it to the edges of your circle. And you're going to continue attaching all, all the way around until you're done cutting the whole thing. And some of that is going to get you like a little piece like that. Just measure and attach it. Then I went ahead and grabbed my another foam board. I'm going to do two inches and then I'm just going to go ahead and trace it out as well. And then after I trace it out, I'm going to go ahead and take my knife and cut it out. And for this one is the part that I'm going to use to divide it in the middle in here i did not measure it i just put it on top like that and then i'm gonna take i took a circle and i'm just gonna go ahead and trace it out um just like that and i'm gonna continue doing that tracing it out until i do onto that whole little size remember on top it's gonna be like four pieces and at the bottom it's gonna be four pieces you're gonna see later what i'm talking about then i went ahead and attached it um to the foam board like that and i made sure it's like level with a circle that it's not um, too close or too far then just measure that size to put the whole thing out then i took my knife and i started cutting out the circle just like that so you're going to continue doing this one thing that i forgot to mention is that to do it two inches apart i did it two inches apart it, but it depends how many circle you're doing and here I this seven circle but i think it will look better if you do less circle so try to do at least like five or four and i think it will look even better but I did seven because I was going to put a little surprise on it. So I wanted to do a lot. And then I just went ahead and continued doing that. I'm um, doing the circle and placing my foam board. You guys can also make the circle smaller and get something else. It could be a hula hoop um, as well if you don't want to do it as big as this. Like I was saying, you see it over here. So you have four on top and four at the bottom. Then I went ahead and grabbed my um, paint. For this one, I got it in Dollar Tree, but I think I suggested to get a better paint because this one I have to give um two 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 hands of paint and it still was a little bit not as bright. So I suggest if you want to come out super cute to get a better paint because some of the colors are very good, but some of them are not are not that dark. They are a little bit light. So then after I paint everything out just like that, I went ahead and cut like one inch, um, another inches of pieces from foam board, and I'm gonna attach it in the middle, and that's to hold it in place. Then I took my balloons and I'm going to put money, candy, whatever you have in mind. Then I went ahead and blow it. And I'm going to make it sure it's the same size as my hole that I did. I'm going to tie it together. And then I'm going to go ahead and place it in the back just like that. I'm going to take some tape and attach the balloon to the foam board so it can stay in place. And it will not move just like that. Then I went ahead and grabbed a 260 balloon and a pump. And I'm just going to go ahead and pump it once like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and tie it. And that's the way that i'm going to use it just like that so i took my balloon and i'm just going to place it inside all the way around it i didn't have enough so i just used one but you could use also two just put one on top and then the other one at the bottom just like that 
and this is how cute it turns out you guys it came out super cute i loved how it turns out and especially when i saw my kid's face when he came in in the room and he saw it he loved it he was so excited and that's what better so for the next day why i grab one of these little bag and i'm gonna grab my cutting board and you're gonna cut your your paper to whatever size of the bag that you're using um mine if not mistaken is two inches by 5.5 and then i'm just gonna go ahead and cut it and then i'm gonna take um glue or tape whatever you want and then you're gonna attach it to your bag just like that you can use either or so i'm going to continue cutting every color and attaching it to my bag just like that then i went ahead and grabbed a highlighter and i'm just going to go ahead and make a circle and i'm going to make three circle on each um on each line of the bags like that so just continue making a circle until you're done doing the whole thing once you're done just grab something hard to put inside just like that then go ahead and grab your knife and you're going to start cutting it inside like that just make sure to put a little bit of pressure and then just go around it and cut the circle out just like that it's pretty simple to do and then just take it out first it's going to come out the blue one and then it's going to come out the white pretty simple to do you guys and then you're just going to go ahead and continue doing until you do the bag then i went ahead and took some tissue paper on um, um, all the colors that you will need i got this little bowl a dollar tree and i'm just going to go ahead and wrap it around just like that take some hot glue um to attach it just like that and place it in the middle of my bag and you're going to continue doing this until you're done doing your whole bag of putting off all the colors on each line. And this is how cute, guys. It turns out how I was in shock that it actually worked and it came out super cute. I hope you guys like it. Another thing that I did real quick, I didn't have a chance to record as much. I just took some candy and then I'm going to go ahead and melt it. And then I put some food coloring inside, whatever color you would like. I only had green. So then I just shake it around and then I just place it inside. For this one, it was a little bit hard. Some of them did break so make sure when you're taking it out to make sure it's don't do it as hard as i did just like that and then i went ahead and created this one as well the other one i created different ones um as you can see so just to place it on the on the top like that and look how cute you guys it turns out super cute and affordable and your kids will actually love it and this is how beautiful everything turns out i hope you guys like it please comment down below and let me know what you guys think of these decorations because my kids loved it the minute he came in the room and he saw he was like oh wow mommy you are really good like he was so excited and that's what matters and you could put any surprise inside the balloons and the kids will love it as well again thank you for watching and this is a little, little video of him popping the balloons and excited with all the kids getting money and candy and surprises and thanks again for watching special creations by nelly if you guys um let me know any theme or party decoration that you would like me to do just comment down below and let me know thanks again for watching special creations by nelly